right, so um, still feel like crap. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I did finally at least feel good enough to pull the motor out. Uh, you can see the motor's out. Let's look at this clutch here. The pressure plate doesn't look too, too bad. Kind of just has like a little bit of discoloration, like rings or whatever. The clutch though, like, there's like a bunch of grease there. Uh, coming from I think the throw out bearing, it seemed like it was pretty worn. Or just I had too much grease on my input shaft. But uh, then you can see on the outside, like, I don't know, I've seen worse. But you can see that same kind of like discoloration ring like right on the inside <clears throat> so uh, I don't know and then just to compare the two uh, pressure plates basically they look exactly the same I can't tell like this this is like spring steel I'm pretty sure uh, it looks the same thickness you just really no good way to like get up on it so you can tell but it looks the same thickness to me, so unless it's like bent in a more severe angle, I don't see how it could be like that much more clamping force. I don't know though, I'm just going off what looks like, you know, I don't know. And then, uh, yeah, like just to compare the two clutch discs. This one's definitely a lot heavier. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, jump cut, the car's done. Do manifold, oh you can't see the downpipe, you can see the fatty downpipe in there. Sounds way more mean uh, at idle and when you rev it up, I kind of love it. So you can see uh, when you rev it like that, it still just dumps so much fuel that I kind of you gotta rev it a few times or else it'll just die. So uh, definitely excited to get this thing running on something different than the freaking SAFC. That'll hopefully be in the next week or two. Uh, I just gotta get everything and learn how to fuck do it. But um, yeah, the clutch is in. Uh, it works. It. The grab point is like really weird. There's literally like that much pedal at the bottom and that controls everything. Half the pedal, you can move half the pedal before it even moves this arm right here. I'll have the pedal halfway depressed and that won't even move. And then, like I said, like the bottom like two inches of the pedal are where all the clutch is. Which, I don't know, I guess I'll just have to get used to it. But uh, I just like put it in gear, moved it frontwards, backwards. It goes into fro forward reverse. Uh, it grabbed fine, so all seems well on that front for now. Air fuel ratio is uh, a little bit low at idle. I mean, I don't know, not too bad. I can live with that. I have it, do have it turned down. I can turn it down even more, but yeah. So, uh, yeah. Give it one more little rev here. I ended up driving it uh, the other day. I didn't really get any clips of that just because uh, I was kind of out by myself and I didn't take the time to like set the camera up. So didn't really get any clips of it, but it did drive most part fine. One thing I did have an issue with um, 
which I read a lot of people actually have an issue with when they upgrade the clutch on these things is the engagement on the pedal was like really weird. It was basically no resistance until you got the pedal like two inches off the floor and then it was like real stiff and like that's where all the engagement point was. Um, which it worked. I drove it like 10 miles like that, which isn't a lot, but I drove it a while like that and uh, it worked, but I didn't like it like that. So I did a little research and figure out that basically what people do is either um, the little spacer, uh, uh, you can't really see it, damn it. Yeah, you can, there we go. That, not really a spacer, but that bracket that comes off the tranny right here, uh, people either put a spacer at the end, like that's the cable right there, they either put a spacer in between this and the cable, or they re-drill the holes on that side and move this back this way, which is what I did. I re-drilled those holes, slid the whole thing back like an inch, and uh, it gave me that good pedal feel that I wanted again. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, one thing I haven't really mentioned yet. The thing that I kept failing to mention is when I had everything apart, I did do like a small wire tuck. You can see like the alternator stuff. This plug that comes off the alternator normally would run over here and then it normally plugs in up here. I basically just eliminated the one that goes from here to that and just spliced in the wires from the alternator to the main harness and shortened it up so it's nice and tucked down there. Same thing with the, the headlight plugs. I had to extend those a little bit so that they could tuck up under there. I ran the main wires. It's underneath the bumper down here, like underneath those tabs kind of. And then did the same thing as on my old car, put the fuse panel in there, or the relay block or whatever. And then my other relay block is behind the fender right there. You can see the plug it in for the light. It basically just tucks down and piece this metal in front. Uh, didn't go real hardcore with it. I just, it's easy enough to do and makes it look a lot better just by doing that, a little bit of the harness, so. I had wanted to get that out of the way while I was there. Oh, uh, my battery's about to die. I gotta change this thing out. Okay, should have a full battery now. The thing I had to do is, since I made the new manifold and made the turbo like further this way, I kind of had to change around my intake setup. Uh, I used to basically just come straight out and was just straight, had the intake or the, the filter like right over here, but down there. Um, I basically just had to throw uh, a little 45 in there and put it up here. I mean, might have to get a shorter filter because I feel like the tip of this might hit the hood, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna. I went ahead and threw the KA math back in there. Uh, I'm gonna give that another try because I only really tried driving with it like one night and it gave me a little bit of issue. And then I needed to use my car the next day, so I just threw the stock one back in so I could drive it. And I've yet to put it back. But I definitely plan on running uh, the KA math. If I can't get the KA math to work, then I'll probably just go with the SR math or try and find uh, an N60, which I know I could find one. It's just I've only, the, the two times I went and tried to look, uh, they didn't have it. So I tried different ones. I tried the E60, which um, I think the only reason that didn't work is because like a stupid mistake on my part. And then now I'm trying the KA one, which I feel like the KA one should work. Um, everybody says that the, like the S14 KA maps work, and I feel like this is off of KA Ultima, but it's of the same generation as the B14, so, or the, uh, S14 rather, not B14. Um, so I feel like it should work. The plug, it's plug and play, the plug's exactly the same, so I don't see really much reason why it wouldn't work. <clears throat> but, yeah, so I'm gonna give that another shot. Uh, what else am I leaving out? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, okay, so I um, made a new shroud for my exhaust. You would see in some of the recent clips or whatever, when, uh, when I cut this thing, I cut the hole like way off, because I forgot I had my last motor raised, so I cut the hole in the same spot in the bumper, which was an inch and a half too low, so I had to make a big janky hole in the bumper. And I'm like real happy with how that little cover came out. Uh, I decided to paint it black this time. The last one was silver. 
and I'm just real happy with uh, how much it like hides the exhaust. It makes it real, real subtle. Like from back here, you can't really even notice that there's a uh, exhaust being dumped out the bumper. So that's cool. That makes me happy. Yeah. So you see in uh, the the clips I did put in here of uh, me like starting it and revving it and whatnot. Uh, it sounds a lot better. It's a lot more like raspy, I guess. That's like the only way I could really think to describe it. It's just got like a, a little bit deeper of a tone, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I like this setup a lot more and I haven't even really felt what it's going to be like because I'm still breaking in the clutch. But <clears throat> uh, that's basically it. That kind of covers a uh, little bit more in depth on everything that's uh, been going on the past couple days. Uh, still waiting to get the last couple things I need to put in the motes board and start messing around with that. But for now, there's basically nothing else to do with the dock. And it's right about at the 8, so I have the tape measure just wedged in there. Get an accurate reading. So from 8, that's in uh, third. Neutral is fucking almost two inches back. And then that's fourth. So eight all the way to four. It's basically two inches to center, <coughs> two inches back to gear for four whole inches. We'll start. I want to cut two inches off that so it'd be neutral, and then that would be fourth. So we'll see. So I got a short shifter made and uh, it was really easy. I got basically. That's uh, it. You can see you just have to get your shifter piece out which is fairly easy. There's like six bolts you gotta take out, maybe seven. And then yeah, I basically just cut, cut it there. That used to be up there. Uh, took that piece, which is actually the piece that I cut off the top, uh, threw a fat bevel on there, and then welded it up. So, now basically I'm just going to throw some, try and get some grease in there so this is a little bit smoother. And, uh, put it back in and see how it feels. Okay, so the shifter is done and in the car. And I'll show you guys, uh, the engagement points. Neutral third so number four it was like two inches and then second or fourth so it's definitely shorter oops um it feels a little bit rougher I feel like going into the gears but I'm not sure but it's definitely shorter, which is uh, what I was going for. Mission accomplished, right? So just again, there's neutral. We'll go all the way. There's uh, there's third or second rather, and then that would be up at third. So definitely shorter. You can get one of these things on eBay for like forty bucks, but. For how easy this is, uh, anybody out there that can weld can basically do it themselves. And then I added like about an inch in there. If you were to go and add even more, uh, you could essentially get the throws to where they're like centimeters. But, uh, so, I don't know, maybe that'll help somebody out there. But that is going to do it. Maybe I'll drive the car later today and get some clips. But, who knows?